At New Way Air Bearings, we have a project for FlexTech here. You can see the film coming out from between the two air bearing sections. Presently, there is no processing unit. But this is the recess that such a unit would go into. In this case, it'll be the Novacentrix Flash Forge system. This steel plate at the bottom of this cutout will be removed and replaced with a quartz window. What we have on the inside faces of the test units is a 360 degree surrounding of porous media air bearing and then an area of differentially pumped grooves with the actual processing chamber on the inside of that. So there's the process chamber window. We're measuring the lift between the two units as we add air pressure to separate the two halves of the vacuum chamber from each other. With all the pumps running, we have this meter pegged at 10 to the minus 4 torr. The air pressure is set at uh, almost 52 psi. And you can see the film is moving freely back and forth. There is some buzzing of the film near the edges. You can see that the entire top component is floating around on the bottom component. Go ahead, Jim, and wiggle the top around a little. So it's got zero friction and is floating on the film sandwiched between the components. The pass-through vacuum chamber has now been assembled onto a convenient cart that contains all of the vacuum and air pressure services. You can see that the vacuum pumps are neatly mounted on board and that the whole unit is on rollers so that it can readily slide into manufacturing processes. Here we have a Bach Edwards pump. Uh, this is a rotary vane pump. We're using it as our first roughing pump. A second rotary vane pump is used for pumping the second vacuum groove. And then we have a rotary vane pump and a turbo pump that are used in combination to pump on the last inner groove. 